back to RC Newbies track. So back today with another unboxing video and this time it's on the Hacker Tensoric 10 competition speed controller. But before we get started I just wanted to get a couple of updates out of the way. I looked into joining the BRCA and the club this week. Uh, both run yearly subscriptions um, but they start from January to December. So if I join now I'd have to pay a full year's membership to maybe use the track once uh, before January so uh, it hardly seems worth doing that so I'm going to be waiting until January to start my membership so it means the car won't be on the track until the start of next year which is a bit disappointing I hope to have it on the track before the end of the year but at least that gives me time to be ready for January so I might have to ch change some things slightly and maybe bring some videos forward uh, one of the videos I was thinking of moving forward is the body shell even though the car isn't built yet, we're getting close to winter now. And my spray booth, aka the shed, uh, will be getting a bit damp and cold. And I'm thinking it may cause a bit of a problem with the paint taken to the shell. So I know you can use a hairdryer in between coats, but I'm thinking I might do that soon. Uh, the other thing is I brought this three racing aluminium stand from RC Mart. Uh, I went through their eBay store. It was six dollars for the stand and four dollars for the shipping from Hong Kong and that worked out about eight pound fifty so I thought eight pound fifty for an aluminium stand is really really good so brought that so with all that out of the way let's get on to the unboxing so if you watch the second video you know this is the SC I really wanted um, and it was a bit more than what I wanted to pay uh, quite a bit more if I'm being honest um, but I decided just to go out and buy it um, with other things I've brought in the past I've sometimes gone out and brought the cheaper alternative and as soon as I have I've, I've regretted doing it I've just thought why didn't I just save up some more money and get what I really wanted in the first place so that's what I've decided to do with this um, it was quite hard to find to be honest I uh, don't really see many of them for sale on the internet um, I found this one on an Austrian site, um, and I believe the name is Model Bell Lindiger. I hope that I pronounced that right. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can check them out. Uh, the cost was 150 euros, uh, so yeah, like I said, quite expensive. Uh, that worked out at about 140 pounds, um, around about 165 dollars ish. Um, I'll also put a link to the hacker site so you can check out the full list of features. Um, as well as being hard to find to buy, there isn't really that much information I could find on the internet about them. Uh, even on YouTube, uh, there's not much. Uh, there's a couple of hacker videos, uh, but that's more to do with the programmable box you can buy for it. Uh, both of them were in German with no subtitles, so I didn't have much luck finding out any info there. Uh, I think it's just going to be a case of plug it in and see how we get on. Okay, let's start off by taking a closer look at what's inside the box, starting off with the ESC itself. So as you can see, it comes with all the wires already soldered to the ESC. That's the ABC and the plus and minus for the battery. It also comes with the capacitor soldered to it as well. Uh, and then on the back there that's a censored port there's also another one on the top there uh, and that port is for the fan We've got the on off switch there and of course that's to connect it to the receiver next is the fan so just the cable to connect it there so you also get this cable in the box 
Um, I wonder what this was to start off with. Uh, I actually went back and watched the hacker videos that I mentioned earlier, the ones that were in German. And what this is, is an adapter cable for the programmable box. Uh, this end uh, connects to your sensor cable and then this end connects to the prog box. So that's what that's for. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to those two videos in the description below so you can check them out for yourselves. So these are the last few bits inside the box. You get a couple of cable ties, you get the four screws to hold the fan to the ESC. You also get five bits of heat shrink, uh, some double-sided tape and the instruction booklet. So things are starting to come on now. Got the kit, the ESC, the motor and the pinion. So not many more electronics to buy now, just the radio, the servo and the LiPo batteries. So that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, next week we're going to be cracking back on with the build series. Um, so we got that coming up next week. Um, as I said at the beginning, we're going to have the body shell video coming up pretty soon. Um, also looking at getting the radio soon as well. Uh, I've narrowed it down to the Futaba 3PV or the one I'm, I'm leaning to is the Samwa MTS. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Um, please let me know in the comments which one you'd go with. Um, and also like to thank the people that have subscribed to the channel. Thank you, that really means a lot. Um, so I'll see you next time on RC Newbie Track.